Well, here we are, Nostalgia Speed and Cycle, actually out the back in one of the workshops we got here. Just a few little bikes we're working on right now. Uh, this one's for a buddy of mine and uh, almost got it there from him. It was a bit of a snodder, so, uh, you know, that's my custom seat. Um, this is my new one to do with the uh, uh, diamond pleats, which are all these are actually all hand-stitched. So it's not a pattern that you just buy on a roll. Um, it's kind of nice with the bob fender. I like that kind of look. That one I'll give you a quick peek at. <laughs> That's mine, so you can't see any more of that. Um, <laughs> here's one thing that really is louder than an orange sweater. And it's kind of funny because, um, you know, the guy painted it so loud you'd, you'd never lose it, you know, especially in a parking lot. But uh, let's see if the key fits in this. So what makes me laugh is just the colour's loud, but check out this horn. And it's so loud. <laughs> you don't need to have orange paint or you don't need to have a horn because you'll see the bike. Anyway, there's another one here we're working on. Obviously, Mike Dernst from Green Day, they're going back on tour soon, so um, that, he'll be picking that up. Something else I want to show you here. I'm building this for a, 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 actually a gentleman in uh, Korea, in Seoul, North Korea. So it's pretty rare for bikes to go over there. That, usually all the Korean bikes come here, so it's kind of nice to do something a little different. Um, it's punched out to... Uh, a 910 kit so we're getting there and uh, we just bobbed the fender I got a little Dakota to do that my uh, young lad at the shop and he's done a bloody good job he's a good welder and uh, he's really into it he loves cafes obviously drag races and stuff so it's nice to be able to give a few jobs to other people to do while I go and do other things too so this thing's gonna be a nice bike got a 17 inch rear wheel with my dress to swing arm. Got all the goodies on it and it's going to be a super nice bike so stay tuned on the website for that because it'll be pretty sharp. I've lowered the front end and also if you look down here we have the wheelwood brake set up which is perfect. That thing will stop on a dime. So just a quick show of a couple of bits here and there just to show you what's going on. Um, walk around here a little bit I've got some other bikes here I'm working on. There's my push bike, because I ain't push biking. I've got to have a motor in it. Another one we're working on. Um, it's kind of a bits of bike, so it uh, needs a new wire harness. So uh, we're just getting into that. Sort that out and see where the harness is. Walking a little too fast for you guys, though. But here we go. See, so I have a brand new harness in it, so it'll be good to go on that. Uh, i got a little 500 in. Got to work on for a customer. Not running right. Needs a muffler change. A few bits and pieces, old 250 Harley Davidson road racer up there, never been fired, which is cool. A couple of super sports here, um, 75 and a 78, uh, full Cafe Racer Customs are going to do. Um, there's a 79 which I base a lot of my new stuff on for my 4 and a 2 exhaust and 4 and a 1s. There's a Harley there I'm working on, shop truck, 28, closed cab which we sell every part of the shop. So I just want to kind of show a few bits and pieces because uh, there's a lot to take in here, just out the back, you know. So, so it's about 5,000 uh, square foot. I have an array of parts on there that I pull from. My AA3 Sportster I ain't tight to work on. Another one I can't really tell you much about that because he's well known. Um, this is mine, RC1000. It will be at the Grand National Rocha show later on. It's coming on, 1,000 cc's with a Russ Collins Magneto up the side, bunged on the right. And I hammered the tank myself, it's all nearly ready to go. I just gotta get a front mud guard or what you call a fender. That's what I call a guitar, but there you go. Has original Dunstall exhaust, new old stock out of the box. So that's be kind of nice. So me blabbing on it kind of shows you a little bit of the back of the shop, what we do and where we do it. And uh, some of my inventories up there, the exhausts, I sell quite a few of them. And all the little bits and bobs and stuff that you order on the website. I'll try and do a little bit more a little later because this takes up a bit of time. Me obviously chin wagging to you. You don't want to hear me all the time but people ask about the shop. So there you go. Nostalgia Speed and Cycle. It all works and I uh, hope you like the little tour. I'm just going to take the shop truck out in a little while, pick some bits up but wanted to share this with you. So whatever you're doing, get back in the garage, pick a spanner up and get into it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more stuff because there's going to be loads of it. See ya.